Ladies and gentlemen, February Outturn is around the corner. And by around the corner, I mean this Friday, and I'm holding the printed copy in my hand. It's actually arrived at Whiskey Helmet before it's arrived with me, which is kind of exciting. And it's got, uh, of course, a few goodies in here, including uh, 148.2 Kershmi Quick and 29.282 Massive Aniseed Heat and Searing Peat. Uh, try saying that after a few drams or at all. Um, but they also have at the bar here at Whiskey Helmet 128.15 as mad as a box of frogs right here. Um, I'm quite interested by this. This is one of the older 128s we've seen through the society. Sweet, fruity and mellow, 58.2% and it had a final cask of heavily char refill heavily charred barrel. So it's an exciting cask treatment on an exciting distillery that you rarely see at cask strength, let alone single cask. So I'm gonna pour a drain of this here. This one is, like I say, this is a part of our exclusive. We might see this whiskey in an outturn to come in the months to come. Maybe March, April, somewhere around there. I haven't really worked that out just yet. But just take a first look at that color. We've got a nice sort of amber hue going on here. Not that the color means anything, but it's nice to look at it and observe it. The name on this is called As Mad as a Box of Frogs, and I think that is very fitting for the nose on this straight away. Nice deeply charred note on that one. And maybe it's the name throwing me off a bit, but it's like I get that red frog note. Like red frog lollies, jellies, like passion fruit, mango. Mango, it's definitely mango in there. This is a lovely summer drop actually. Let's see how it tastes. Oh wow. That's like like mango jellies and red frogs in a glass but just a nice hint of sort of nice toasty, uh, toasted notes, toasted cask notes coming through on that. Sweet fruity and mellow, I think is right. It could almost be spicy and sweet flavor profile. But it's really interesting to even just to know a whiskey that's 10 years from a New World whiskey distillery. I'm gonna call it New World. They've been around for a few decades now, but this is old spirit for them. This would be, this is some of the, some of the oldest spirit coming out of this distillery, this Welsh distillery. It's often easy to overlook. World whiskies that society has put out in the past. We've put out some cracking good Indian whiskies, American whiskies, Irish whiskies. There's some more Irish whiskey coming down the path soon. But this Welsh whiskey just goes to show just how interesting and a long aged New World whiskey can be. But you can also try Kirshby Quick, which is a New World whiskey, and Melbourne whiskey, in fact, uh, which is on the bar now at Whiskey and Almond. It's open from Wednesday through to Saturdays at the moment. And uh, I will see you all soon. Here's to as mad as a box of frogs, part of our exclusive at the moment, and available now by the Dramatics Canal. Slanger